you know basics clearly if you don't invest time on it? If you don't study on it? You take very gorgeous, good looking classes, risk management, Basel II. Unless you go back and sit on the web for three hours and four hours and really research Basel II, how will you know Basel II? You will never know. You know Oporo. It doesn't help. Because the, the, uh, the work, when you come to start doing the work, that's going to be fundamental. That cannot be Oporo. Work is never Oporo. You get into that feeling of deciding your own comfort zone. Can you imagine how Mr. Sachin Tendulkar decides his comfort zone? At what stage of his life he'll say, I have done enough? Don't you have such examples? What stage? He's done so much. What keeps him going? Money? No. Faith? No. Love for cricket? Maybe. Just think. Think of his motivation. And there are plenty of such people. I mean, he's not the only guy in this country. There are plenty of such people who keep going. And mind you, we are very, very clear and it goes under my instructions to the team, to the faculty team. I am a very firm believer of a person who's trying must be supported. And I have done this with a few of you. Whoever knows that. And some of them, oh, some of them have responded very well to me. And that makes me really proud and happy. And that makes me feel good that there is still hope in this society. There is still something for a guy like me. That Youngsters are listening. <coughs> they are working hard. They all want to do well for themselves. They are trying. <coughs> and if that in some measure I see, some leniency can be expressed. But if I don't see that, I'm the other extreme. Don't forget that I'm basically in business. So I'm a mercenary there. This is not a teacher who's talking to you. This is a man in business talking to you. And I can talk because I, my entire life is all of you. I've committed myself to that. So I will demand from all of you. Very simple. This is not in the system of the school. This has nothing got to do with the administrative vehicle of the school or the director or the teachers. This is a direct covenant between you and me. That's it. And I'm laying down that covenant right today in front of you. You work on that, we are together. You don't work on that, good luck. So improvements is a major plus point for me. Trying to improve is a major plus point for me. Really putting effort to see all the small, small weaknesses are going out from you is a major plus point for me. If you ask me what are you expecting us to do, I've already told you. I'm expecting effort, nothing else. I'm expecting hard work. I'm expecting commitment. And for what? For your improvement. If I'm asking you to improve and put effort there, what's wrong in that? Why, why can't I ask you for that? You have paid fees, you have done everything. And you will not put in effort, you just pass and by long average you get a job and go. Sorry, you should have joined another school. Not in Globe City. Every single Globe City is precious stone for me. Very, very important to me. You, you can think yourself that you are not important to yourself, but you are important to me. So I will not allow you as long as you are in my path, which is my zone. So that is today's L and I, which is to say that I am going to observe, I have got all the data. So what do you need to do? I will give you some solution points. I have written this down. 
فرست احوالی این چاکت با به چی؟ learn you come here for education that is why every day morning you get come fresh we did that exercise if you remember the first session when you sleep and when you get up go back to that try and see whether you are getting 6 to 7 hours of sleep if you are not then please sleep early don't sleep at 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock and that kind of stuff you will still get that time get a good night's sleep because most of the studies in a business school is driven by the brain, driven by thinking. Most of the studies, unfortunately, in undergraduate, is not driven by driven by thinking. You just mug up or you just listen to it, you just write and you get something. Not in a business school. Business school changes you from whatever you know to write to learn. If you have to learn, you have to use your brain. You can't learn without using your brain. And the brain must be at rest. If the brain is not at rest, you will not learn. Very simple. You know, I don't know whether I've told you the story. This guy is just passed out last year. What is the guy's name who was president of Rotary, Rotary Club? Shanta Brosha. Shanta Brotha. I don't know whether I've told you what happened to Shanta Brotha and me. And that was the first time in that. Shantaputra comes from post Goya. He stays somewhere which is pretty far. And he gets into the second or the third bus in a double decker bus to come here because otherwise he doesn't get a seat. And uh, he needs a seat because the bus journey which he takes every day to come to Grobsin was about 1 hour 15 or minutes or 1 hour 30 minutes. It's a long journey. You can't keep standing when you've got a terminus. So, first bus is full, second bus is full, maybe third bus. He gets a seat and he sits there. And on an average, when I queried him, in a class like this, I queried him. On an average, he spends 45 minutes inside the bus before the bus leaves the terminus and then comes here. So, my simple question to him was, what does he do in that 45 minutes? And the day I asked him the question, he said, nothing. I just told him, buy an economic times tomorrow. And this 45 minutes, just read every page. Any day you have nothing to do. Every page of the economic times. If you can, if I were you, I would also keep a pad and a pen next to you. If you find something interesting, just draw it down. How many times you come back to say, sir, you have changed my life. It has not stopped at economic times. I started reading books, I started reading other interest areas, and I used that 45 minutes so well, which I was wasting. It never occurred to me that I could do something in that 45 minutes. It's not rocket science. Everybody in this class can do that for your own benefit. Not to speak of what you do during the travel. Then you can say people are pouncing on me so I can't breathe. You have all issues. But when you are waiting, you, can't, you don't have any problem. If not anything else, that person, very timid guy, very circumspect guy, very shy person, became a hugely confident person. These are small things. It is possible. If only you are concerned about yourself, it is possible. If only you take these hints in life. If you only you understand what I'm trying to tell you and try to fill on those issues, your life can completely change. You will be surprised. 